Welcome. Let's understand capacitor bank protection requirements. Capacitor bank protection relay shall be equipped with the followings. 87, bank voltage differential. 50, 51, phase instantaneous and timed over current. 50N, 51N, ground instantaneous and timed over current. 67P and N, negative sequence directional protection. 27, under voltage. 59B, over voltage. 59N, neutral over voltage. 60VT, VT supervision. 60N, bank neutral current unbalance. 60P, bank neutral phase unbalance. 37, under current protection. Now, we will see in detailed various protection for 11 kV, 33 kV double star ungrounded protection. Capacitor bank balancing. Unbalanced protection neutral CT fed relay. Compensated voltage differential. 110 kV through 400 kV capacitor bank, Y grounded. Protection arrangement on each feeder of the capacitor bank. Now let's understand each one by one. Eleven KV, thirty three KV double star ungrounded protection can be equipped with over voltage protection fifty nine P and N, under voltage protection, over current protection, negative sequence directional protection, under current protection. Now we will see above protection requirements in detailed. The over voltage protection is to be provided. In the scheme of protection with the fundamental voltage sensor with the timer with adjustable time settings. The relay shall have two stages, one for initiating alarm at low percentage of increase of the nominal voltage and the other stage with the timer for initiating tripping. Over voltage protection relays shall be provided for alarm and trip stages. The over voltage relay shall be energized from potential transformer of each respective bank. The relay shall operate on peak over voltages with appropriate time delays to match the withstand capability of the capacitor units. The withstand capability of the capacitor units shall be provided together with the proposed relay and its settings. The protection shall trip respective circuit breaker via respective tripping relays. The under voltage protection is to be provided in the scheme of protection with the fundamental voltage sensor, with the timer with adjustable time settings. The relay shall have two stages, one for initiating alarm at low percentage of decrement of the nominal voltage, and the other stage with the timer for initiating tripping. Phase 2 neutral connected definite time delayed under voltage relay, device 27 with separate timer, connected to voltage transformer, shall be provided to detect loss of supply. The under voltage relay shall be blocked by respective fuse failure relay. The relay after time delay shall trip respective circuit breaker, via tripping relay. The under voltage relay shall be set such that, relay will not operate for voltage that require capacitor bank into service, adequate margin shall be provided. The protection shall be interlocked with circuit breaker contacts, such that it will allow closing at circuit breaker, without any maltrip. The under voltage relay target shall appear after the specified time delay not when the relay is picked up. Overcurrent protection shall include one numerical three phase and ground overcurrent relay for each double star capacitor bank. These protections shall trip and lock out all required circuit breaker via respective lockout relay single phase and single ground instantaneous overcurrent protection shall be provided for circuit breakers. The current transformer excitation limiting secondary voltage must be adequate such that relay must be able to definitely operate. However, in any case of application, the excitation limiting secondary voltage of the current transformer as defined by current transformer excitation curve shall not be less than 120% of twice the voltage required to drive the maximum secondary symmetrical current through the combined burden of the relay. The higher of the two above requirements, 
shall be covering criteria in sizing the current transformer for instantaneous protection. Negative sequence directional protection shall have directional negative sequence current protection to cover the inter-rack phase faults. The protection shall have the negative sequence directional sensor to identify the interface faults within the capacitor bank. The relay responds to the negative sequence current flow into the capacitor bank only. Depending on the magnitude of the inductive load on the parallel circuits or during the fault condition of the parallel circuits, the relay is screened and sensitive setting could be adopted for the interface fault sensing function. Undercurrent protection shall cover undercurrent sensors for identifying open circuiting of the capacitor string in the bank and to initiate tripping. Capacitor bank balancing. Various series and parallel units of each of the capacitor banks shall be selected or wired in such a way as it will be provided near zero neutral current and midpoint zero sequence voltage under various system operating conditions and unbalances etc. prevailing at respective buses for whole of the year and specially under summer when air conditioning loads are excessive and in winter when the voltage level profile is high. The capacitor unit balancing should be done in such a way that it will not interface with pickup of the alarm stage. However, it should definitely provide alarm on loss of one capacitor unit in any phase and in any place in both set 1 and set 2. It can be proved by getting actual site measurement of the system voltages for R, Y and B phases for a fairly good period to get extent and trend of the system unbalances present at site. The capacitor counterbalancing should be done accordingly. The unbalanced protection shall be connected to the current transformer located in the neutral of the capacitor bank. The current transformer shall be rated for full system voltage, should be capable of withstanding currents during abnormal conditions, such as short circuits, shall be protected at its primary by means of spark gaps, or surge arresters to avoid the high peak transient, and high power frequency currents during short circuits, rated current transformer ratio for be based on the calculated unbalance, at different failure modes, shall be capable of detecting the expected very low current, involved in internally fused capacitors harmonic current shall be considered in determining the rating the provided relay shall be sensitive to detect a single fuse blown of the capacitor bank taken into consideration the inherent unbalance of the bank relay shall have reduced sensitivity for frequencies other than the fundamental to prevent undesired operation and to simplify calculation of the relay setting. The relay range and time characteristic shall be as per the application. The unbalanced relay shall trip and lock out the required circuit breaker via respective lockout relay if the voltage across the remaining two capacitors units exceeds the unit withstand voltage capability. Two protection stages shall be provided as alarm stage in case of losing one capacitor unit. Tripping stage, in case of losing two or more capacitor units. Alarm stage, the current pickup of the first alarm stage of the definite time relaying, shall be set at 50% of the unbalanced current caused by the loss of one capacitor unit. However, it should also be higher enough, as not to maloperate due to system problems or unbalances etc. To achieve this, the capacitor units shall be balanced. The time delay unit of the above protection shall have sufficient time delay to override external disturbances. Tripping stage. To allow the effects of the inherent unbalance, the current pickup of the second, trip, stage of the above definite time relaying shall be set to operate at a level of neutral current, halfway between the critical step and the next lower step. The critical step is the number of units that will cause a group over voltage in excess of the manufacturer's recommended maximum continuous voltage. However, its setting should be made to operate when the voltage across any capacitor exceeds 110% of the rated voltage. 
the timer unit shall be set for the delay sufficient to avoid false operations due to inrush, outrush, ground faults on a line, lightning, switching of nearby equipment and the closure of the circuit breaker. However it should be as fast as possible to facilitate its high speed operation for rack faults. The trip stage of the protection shall trip and lock out respective circuit breakers. The lockout function shall short circuit the CT secondary to avoid damage to the loading resistor. The shorting contact shall be rated accordingly. The CTs shall have an adequate knee point voltage for single phase currents. It shall have low over voltage pickup. It shall have third harmonic rejection circuit to render it insensitive. Relay ranges shall be specially chosen to meet the requirements of unbalanced protection. It is very essential that the relay shall not maloperate and it shall definitely be able to detect the loss of one capacitor unit for alarm and the loss of two capacitor units for trip. The relaying requirements of unbalanced protection shall be as per recommendations of IEEE C37-99. In addition, effect of presence of additional harmonics, if any at site and usual system unbalances etc. should also be considered. The relays shall be based on using voltage differential protection method and be of a different type and make of the unbalanced protection. The unbalanced protection shall be low stage type. The first stage, called stage 1, shall be a definite time delayed, low set, alarm stage set, to operate on loss of single capacitor unit. The second stage, called stage 2, shall also be a definite time delayed, high set, trip stage set, to operate on loss of single capacitor unit such that, over voltage on any of the remaining healthy units, shall not be more than 110%, with approximately 50% as safety factor in unbalanced voltage setting. Since, the unbalanced protection shall be based on the voltage differential principle, comparing the voltage difference between T-off and tap-off voltages, its operation shall be blocked by a fuse failure function, integrated in the relay. Alarm stage. Alarm stage shall be set at around half the voltage difference appearing, across the relay for loss of one capacitor unit. The timer range shall be selected to facilitate the time delay setting of around 3 to 6 seconds delay. Tripping stage. Trip stage shall be set at a differential voltage, which shall be above the maximum voltage produced at the loss of one capacitor unit, but less than the loss of the critical number of units, due to loss of which the voltage on other healthy units shall not be more than 110% with safety margin of 50%. The timer range shall be selected to facilitate the time delay setting of around 3 to 6 seconds delay. Following balance capacitor bank protection topics, we will see in next video, 110 kV through 400 kV capacitor bank, why grounded, general arrangement on each branch of the capacitor bank, protection single line diagram, reference standards. Thank you for your attention and time. More stuff coming soon. Don't forget to subscribe.